What is up you guys? It is Joey here today. Today I am out in Portsmouth, Virginia. This one is 2211 King Street. This one is a fixer-upper, contractor special, handyman special. It is two bedrooms, one bathroom. Sorry if I'm talking extra loud. There's some construction work being done next door. I'm gonna get over there too as well. So this is a good area of Portsmouth, 2211 King Street. I'm gonna do a little, uh, show you the exterior. And when I get you inside, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm showing you this. So the exterior is fine. This one does need a lot of work. It's definitely a handyman special. It's just a little pan around of the area. We have the highway right beside us right here. You get off right at this exit right here to get to the house. So it's very convenient, very central if you're looking to get somewhere close. Nice little neighborhood. The house literally directly next door to us is being rehabbed at the moment. So this is an up and coming area. We're also doing road work right here, paving up the streets, making everything good. So I'm gonna warn you first before I get, even get into this house, just know if this house, if you're not looking to do work, this house is not for you. This one does need a lot of work done inside. Really in just one area, there's a big hall. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk to you. If you, wanna, if you wanna see it, just watch the video. I'm gonna show you inside what needs to be done. So coming into the front, you do have a fenced in gate. The gate's kind of a little jacked up. It doesn't work, but it's like someone hit it with a car over there. You have a screened in porch. However, the wood on the floor right here looks like it's rotted somewhere right here by the front door. So take, watch your step. If you're a bigger person, be very careful doing this. If you view this house and fall, it's at your own risk. So keep in mind, the looks like it is rotted. It holds, I'm a little bit, I'm right around 200 pounds and it holds my weight. So keep that in mind. Like I said, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's kind of the screen right here, except this right here, it's all, just some spots right there, it's all molded, not molded, what's the word, rotted. The wood's rotted, it does need to be replaced if you decide to use it, or you can take down the whole porch. Whatever works for you guys. This is a nice house. There's one area of concern, like I told you, and I'm gonna show you everything inside the house. So coming into the front door, front door is boarded up. It brings us immediately to the living room. Living room, we have wood paneling walls. I don't know if you can hear them a little bit better now. The construction's loud outside. We have wood paneling walls. Right here's another small area concerns the ceiling. Looks like there was water damage. The ceiling's coming down just a tad bit. The rest of the living room looks like we have green, bluish green carpet in here. It looks like it's in excellent condition. Just all this. I always try to say bad words in my videos, but I always try to cover myself. All this little, this junk, we'll say junk. This junk needs to be removed and cleaned up, and this one, the living room should be good to go. A little picture of Jesus on the wall. So immediately to the right when you come into the front door is bedroom number one. This one has brown carpet. Looks like they're very outdated. Can definitely use a good cleaning or replacement. This might be like one of those old houses that when you rip the carpet off, there's a nice hardwood floor underneath. So keep that in mind. Wood paneling walls all around. This one's gonna be a great investment property once it's finished. Small hole right there. That chair looks like it used to be someone's grandma used to sit in that chair every day. This is bedroom number one. Continuing on, it brings us to our dining room. Keep in mind when you come here, you can see just how, how vacant, how long this house has been vacant. For if you can tell in the video, there's like years worth of cobwebs right here. I can kind of see it on my phone in the video. So you might be able to see it in the video. This house has been sitting vacant for a long time. So keep that in mind. It is definitely a fixer upper contractor special as I've been telling you. Dining room, like there used to be a fireplace right here. It's covered up. Wood paneling walls, more cobwebs. I'm gonna show you the bathroom shortly. Be patient. If you didn't know already, the bathroom is the area of concern. So now you guys know the bathroom is what the area of concern. 
So let me show you bedroom number two first, and then I'll show you the bathroom. There's no light in here as the windows are boarded up. Hopefully there's no monsters in here. I didn't go in this room yet, so. This room looks clear. There's obviously no one in here, but there might be like a rat or some shit that comes out and comes and gets me, so. Bedroom here, some water damage up there. The curtains are closed, but as you saw on the outside, when I did the exterior, they are boarded up, so that would not make any difference. The carpet in this room looks like it's in good shape. The wood paneling walls look almost brand spanking new. Well, let's just take a peek. Are the windows broken or are they just boarded up? The windows are not broken, they are just boarded up. So that's always a plus, just remove the boards. This is bedroom number two. Okay. And now let me show you where we need to do some work. Work, work, work. Some people love it, some people hate it. The bathroom. Or, it's yes, it's a bathroom, but there's not much left of a bathroom. I can see the toilet in the corner over there. There's a hole in the floor, hole in the ceiling, hole in the roof. And yeah, so this is our bathroom. I'm not even gonna make an attempt to step foot in there. You do so at your own risk. And I'm telling you this now, I'm gonna repeat it over and over. If you go in this bathroom, it is at your risk and your risk only. Keep in mind the floor looks like it's rotted. The floor looks like it's damaged. There's probably water damage. There's probably everything in this bathroom. There's probably uh, monsters and stuff in there. There's probably like little paranormal figures and they're gonna come in and attack you and stuff. So whatever's in this bathroom, at your own risk, guys. I do not want you to go in here. You can clearly tell just by looking at it that it needs a full gut. It needs a full rehab. It's probably gonna need some patchwork in the roof. So keep that in mind. All this stuff right here, like I said, don't let this scare you. It's just a bathroom. If this is the area you're looking for, if this is the house you want and you're not afraid of some work, this is it. So that's the bathroom. I'm gonna do one last little pan over everything. Everything in this bathroom will need to be replaced. There's no doubts about that. Okay, so the last thing we have in this house is our kitchen, which there's a big ass spider hanging right here. Hopefully he doesn't, I don't know if he's alive or not. Is there a web? Uh, no web. Okay, let me step through. It's always a plus for no rats or any spiders or anything else jump out at me. The back door looks like it's in good shape. It is just boarded up. Cabinet space, there's a lot of cabinets in here. Counter space, everything looks good. Washer and dryer hookups. Like I said, this house, just your regular house I always get, minus is the one room that needs extra concern and that is it. This house is a good one. Two beds, one bath, it's gonna be priced to sell. So give me a call or shoot me a text. 757-384-0905. Once again, my number is 757-384-0905. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know. If you wanna make an offer on the property, let me know. We are ready to do business. Talk to you guys soon.